so now we have created our structure to make this interesting we can change the styling for this tree okay so go to our first user to make this make it interesting you can choose a different theme or paint now okay now it become oops now it should work okay great now we have different color for this now change also for this also mm, we can take pink so how is it oh, it's good now paste it also here okay now we can change also the color for them okay paste it here okay okay now it's now now what is interesting okay now we want when we will click on this user the structure will open for this user when we click on this user the structure will open for this user and for all user okay so go to our code and we need a anchor tag here so that to make it clickable so create a anchor tag here and make it reference t.php and search id equal to you can put here echo first left user okay refresh it now you can see we have now when we will click on this user it comes here search id equal to user1 at the rate gmail.com but it doesn't show the structure for this user so we need to write some code for it so so you should remember we have take a variable search equal to user id in the starting of this structure so now we will check a condition that if a user search then if is set get search id so what we will do we will take the search uh, 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 search id equal to my sql real escape string oh, 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 where is my sqli real escape string connection <sighs> get search id and now we will check if it should not empty okay for now we can see if it is working or not so we will change the search equal to search id okay now we can see where it is working or not refresh it okay where is the error line 22 line 22 okay here is the error now refresh it now you can see it's showing the result for this is user one at the gmail.com you can see here is this user this user has only one user under him so you can see here and when I again click on this user it will show the information for this user and this user don't have any user under him so we will do it for all the user so now for it, what what can be happen if a user will click on this user it shows result for the user now suppose a user will enter uh, something else then it should not it should not open so we will check whether it should not empty and it should and and uh, and it should be uh, actual actual user so from here we can check if 
here we will check okay if oh, oh. if search uh, search id not equal to empty and else else what it will do it will do echo mm -mm -mm. script we can write a script uh, and we can show a uh, so a uh, error here that access in and and we can do uh, redirect the page okay a window dot location dot assign and we want to go it for here three dot php okay now we can check it is it working or not so refresh the page it says hey, uh, this is xa denied and it will uh, redirect to our home page okay now click and this is it it shows but if you will make it empty it will go to here this page okay tree page now we need to check whether this whether this user exists or not or suppose i change the user this here then it should not show the result so we will check whether it is exist or not so now we can like uh query check equal to my school i query function select stick from user where where is this our where email let us take form either where email equal to search id search id if my sql i num rows my sql i num rows sorry check is greater than zero it means it exists else else it will redirect to this page okay tree page now if it is exit then what we will do we will assign the search id to the variable search now suppose when we will when we will click on this user it shows the result now suppose i write a different user called uh, honey at the rate gmail.com it doesn't exist and it will show x89 okay now we need to create uh, the the anchor tag for this user for this for all user okay now <coughs> one thing also if this user if suppose there is who is it then it should not show a, a hyperlink here for example if we click here we click here now for this user it has for this user it has um, no user under him but a hyperlink link active here so it should not be happen if this user is empty then hyperlink will not show so go here we can check a uh, uh, condition whether it is exist or not okay mm -mm. so where will be uh, 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 here mm -mm. we can write a uh, condition uh, 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 here or uh, we can write a condition here okay okay now suppose if first left user not equal to empty then it will show this result okay else it will show the result without anchor tag so we will remove the anchor tag from here go to here and we don't need any anchor tag here 
just remove this anchor tag from here and also from here now we can check the anchor tag is not showing here but when the user exit the anchor tag is working now it's not working now we need to do the same thing for all the user so we can copy it and paste we just need to change the value for this mm -mm, we can cut paste it here and for this area it will become mm -mm, we can paste it here and we will create a reference here a, a reference Okay, okay, okay. It will become first add user and close it here. Now we can check. Go to tree. Yes, it's working and no, okay, no user here, but it exists because we put it here first. Tight user, not sure. Come have okay, it doesn't now. Now it's done, and now we can do this thing for this, 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 and this user.